distraction 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 you get the point somebody's watching us hello welcome to revelator elf so uh this video is all about uh, yeah getting distracted uh, how bikers us bikers how people in general can get distracted now um on the way home uh, just now i was distracted quite a lot and uh, one of those things is the change in season so i do like a, a bit of autumn action as well but uh i'm also getting distracted a lot by work recently uh yeah feeling the uh, the effects of uh, some fatigue as well so a bit of distraction there it's amazing how other things in your life start taking over things that weren't planned let me show you yeah this is what i mean death by ikea distraction oh yeah bailey bailey you're not a distraction eh? you're not a distraction eh? are you no you're not you're not you're just forcing me to walk you you might say this is a nice distraction 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 yeah, so instead of riding that and, uh, well, giving a good old wash first, of course, uh, I'm having to fix that. Uh, yes, teenager finger trouble. Know what I mean? And that is complete. So yesterday I was supposed to go into London to uh, uh, witness the brand new opening of uh, Zero Motorcycles dealership and to go test ride uh, their DSR-X electric adventure bike. Um, but I got distracted by, well, other things going on. But I also uh, got distracted by the price and the range of it. And I think if you're buying into the whole electric bike thing, fine, you're gonna spend over 25,000 pounds for a bike that can barely do 100 miles, you'll buy into it if you really want to. Now I'm not, the anti-electric bike uh, person that many might believe. I'm actually, I've bought into it uh, quite substantially, but not at that price. And I thought, do you know what? Do I really want to go and spend a day at, you know, a brand new dealership, which would be pretty cool, don't get me wrong, and trying to review and ride a bike that I'm just not there with. And that's it. I, I just wasn't there with it to even go and review it because I think there are much better options for electric bikes uh, right now. So whilst the, the gap is narrowing between the price and the value, I suppose, of electric bikes and petrol, you know, it's, it's not quite there yet. But I think you can get urban city bikes, uh, electric bikes, for about 10,000 pounds, and I think that's doable. I think that's kind of much better value for money. So whatever those manufacturers are, go check them out, I'm sure. But for me, I'm just not there yet, so that's why I decided to be distracted by this. I suppose riding a bike is a distraction in itself, a distraction from everyday stresses and woes and whatever. Not all distractions are good, and not all distractions are bad. Let's get riding. I suppose if I was pimping crystals or tie-dye t-shirts, I'd say that a motorcycle ride cleanses the aura, just like a shower washes away your aura or cleanses it. And I kind of feel that about bike riding, actually. It cleanses the soul, but it just makes me feel a lot better. That's a great distraction. I always love riding out this time of year, early autumn, around about Halloween, bonfire night, or Guy Fawkes night, whichever you prefer. Uh, I just love it, the end of October, beginning of November, because every day, the colors change. It's a, it's a change in scenery, it's a change in environment, and I kind of like that. It just makes it a different riding experience. 
Oh, there I go again, getting all spiritual. But you know what I mean. I suppose it's the riding experience. Now, it could be on any bike, of course. Any bike can give you this riding experience, right? Or this sensation, that that cleansing, that, you know, wash away your worries of the world or of the day, of the week. It could be a Ducati, a Suzuki, it could be a moped. It doesn't matter. It could be anything. But for me, the best distraction from all of that stuff, everything, all those other distractions, is just a ride on my Harley. And I love it. It's not about speed, it's not about anything in particular. It's just a sensation that I have with this bike. And I love it. I absolutely love it. The best distraction in the world. The best motorcycle distraction. The best distraction is a Harley Davidson. Well, maybe. So when you're talking about sensations and experiences, then surely you don't have to spend 25, 30, 40,000 pounds if you want to fully kit out a Zero Motorcycles DSRX. That's only going to give you 100 miles. Now, it depends. If you've got that money and you think that 40,000 pounds or whatever, whatever motorcycle you want to spend it on, um, is going to give you that riding experience, that sensation, then fine. If you're buying into the electric motorcycle mentality, I get it. I get it. I get it completely. But I think you can get the same sensation, surely, on any bike. Because it's not only the type of bike, but it's also where you're riding, how you're feeling, the time of year, that kind of thing. Now, as I say, I love this time of year. All the leaves are turning, the colours are changing, and winter is coming. <laughs> yes, but that's another story. But this time of year is also about Halloween, which I suppose this country has fully adopted as an American import over the last 15, 20 years. But bonfire night and fireworks, that's where it's at for me. So, being distracted by a nice spooky spectacular firework display at the weekend wasn't a bad result. A very nice distraction indeed. I'll catch you again. Ta-da!